Well, good day, and welcome to Leader Bite, where we provide you, the leader, something that you can chew on. And boy, this week I've got something interesting to speak to you about. I've been reading this interesting book called Grit by Angela Duckworth, and it's the power of both passion and perseverance. And I've been reading it through the filter of a parent, and I thought it would be an interesting transverse to kind of share it with leaders, because she speaks to parents, the definition of the Latin word parent, uh, as somebody to bring forth or somebody that brings somebody forth, and you as a leader influence people in your workplace too. So, in thinking this through, here is this interesting matrix that she pulls up, and she says, if this is the quadrants, obviously, that we're looking at, supportive's at the top, unsupportive down the bottom, non-demanding or undemanding down this side, and demanding down this side right here. She says, Angela Duckworth, that if you are a supportive leader, yet you are not demanding, you are, dun da 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 a permissive parent or leader or influencer, meaning that you will serve up a whole lot of self-esteem with self-esteem on the side and maybe a diet self, uh, an extra large self-esteem cup, you know, because you are completely supportive of this person yet demand nothing in terms of performance from them. Is that something that you do with some of your folks? Uh, she then goes on to say that if you're undemanding and unsupportive, and we've all seen these types of leaders, they are the neglectful leaders that lose their folks because they just don't know where their folks are in the first place. Uh, now, down the bottom here, she says, if you're unsupportive and yet you are super demanding, you are more of an authoritarian type leader. Um, and obviously, this sweet spot is where we're aiming at here, where you are both super and uber supportive and very demanding of your folks. So, yes, I love you enough to tell you that you need to work harder. Yes, I love you enough to tell you that you need to work harder she would refer to you as the wise leader, the wise leader. And so moving forward into this week at work, as a manager of people, as an influencer's people, how are you going to become more of a supportive and demanding leader so that you can develop this grit amongst your people? And she, she, she goes on to, to give us one last example. She says that people follow leaders that have a long-term goal that they can obviously see the leader using both passion and perseverance to strive towards. So, I'm sure you know a few of those leaders, and my quest to you as you move forward into this week is how can you be more supportive yet demanding of all of your folks? Hope that's something that you can sink your teeth into, and we will see you next on Leader Bite.